Now let's come to population versus the mean. When we have the entire population data, we take each say say of the entire height of the height of all the males in United States whose age is greater than 25. I take each of their height, I sum them all up, divided by the number of people, male person in US who are greater than age 25, I get the population mean, which is denoted as mu. But instead, it's not possible to get the height of every individual. So what do I do? I take sample. I take some from Washington, I take some from California, some from Texas and all the 50 states and based on how much people stay in that state and I calculate the average of that. That is x bar. Okay, So there is population mean. Population mean, it, it is a standard practice, is always denoted as mu. The sample mean is always denoted as x bar. So if you have to fill this table, is for population n, size is size is denoted as capital N. For sample, the sample size is denoted as lowercase n. The population mean is denoted as mu and the sample mean is denoted as x bar. Similarly, we have population standard deviation and we have sample standard deviation or variance. The population variance is denoted as sigma square and the sample standard variance is denoted as s square. When we calculate population uh, variance, we divide by n summation all the data values xi minus mu the whole square divided by n. And when we calculate the sample variance, instead of dividing by n, we divide it by n minus 1. We will come to this later that why we are using n for population and why we are using n minus 1 for uh, the sample. For the time being, let us uh, keep it that way. And it is not difficult to figure out that the population standard deviation is written as sigma and that sample standard deviation is written as s. Here we go. Population variance is denoted as sigma square, population mean is mu and the population size is capital N. Kindly note that when we use population, calculate the population variance, we do not subtract the one. But when we calculate the sample variance, we always subtract one from the sample size. This is not what we do when we calculate mean. When we calculate population mean mu, we divide it by capital N, lower uppercase N. And when we calculate the sample mean x bar, we divide it by N. In that case, we do not subtract one. But when we calculate the samples variance, we always subtract it by the sample size by one. As already discussed, the standard deviation is sigma is root of the variance for the population and the sample standard deviation is denoted as s which is the square root of the uh, uh, sample variance. So before we go in detail of this, let us take uh, some cases, you know, suppose I plot the data, two sets of data, one is which has very less standard deviation and one which has very high standard deviation, they both of them have the same mean. So there is this data and there is this data. Which one do you think, case A or case B? Suppose both of them have mean as uh, say 50 and, and 50. So which one has more spread will have more standard deviation. Which one do you think has more spread? The case B has more spread which will have the higher standard deviation. A cat killed. Average is dead.